For ages, Neil wanted to recreate one of his very first experiments, and it involves aluminium tops from milk bottles. So I have been collecting for months milk bottle tops. And just today, I managed to get them to Neil in the lab. The chemistry behind this is that aluminium can react not only with acids, but with alkalis. It's a so-called amphoteric material. It can react with acids to form salt, like hydrochloric acid to make aluminium chloride. It can react with sodium hydroxide, which is what Neil was going to use to make sodium aluminate. What Neil did was to take some of my milk bottle tops and put them into a flask. When he did the reaction as a boy, he used a milk bottle, but unfortunately, the design of milk bottles have changed and the balloon that is a crucial part of this experiment won't fit over the neck of a modern bottle. So once the bottle tops are in the bottle, the next thing is to make the sodium hydroxide solution. and sodium hydroxide dissolves in water, releasing a huge amount of heat. So he mixed and made a very concentrated solution, and you can see the solution getting really very hot. In fact, Neil got a bit worried that this was going to be a bit too strong and potent. So he put a little water in with the milk bottles tops just to calm things down. But then the flask had a glass stopper and at the end of the tube of the glass stopper, there was a pink balloon. So, he poured in the sodium hydroxide solution and then quickly put in the stopper with the balloon. And the balloon inflated at a huge rate, got really quite worried. So fast, that's gonna pop. And it was filling, or so he believed, with hydrogen. You know, hydrogen is much lighter than air. And before the balloon could burst, he took it off and tied it in a knot so he had a hydrogen balloon. But the flask kept on reacting, a bit like the sorcerer's apprentice. Things started flying out of the top. And Neil got really worried about Brady's cameras all round the flask. Would they dissolve in the sodium hydroxide? but he'd really demonstrated this was a good reaction. Then he thought it would be nice to show that the balloon contained hydrogen. At that moment came a big surprise because when he tried to let go of the balloon, Instead of shooting upwards, as you would expect with a hydrogen balloon, it fell to the floor. What has happened? He was really worried. But being Neil, he thought just in case he would put a match to the balloon. And when he did, even though it was on the floor, it went off with a really satisfying explosion. Now, of course, the balloon's blown up, but what I think happened was that the gas came out of the flask so quickly that he actually filled the balloon with a mixture of air and hydrogen. So when he 
tied it off, it wasn't lighter than air because it contained hydrogen and air together. And of course, there's the weight of the rubber of the balloon. But then when he let it off, it burnt much better than it would have done if it was just hydrogen. And I think the clue is in the fact that the flame that was formed was a much whiter orange colour than when you normally let off a hydrogen balloon, which tends to be rather red. Neil was really satisfied. He could still do the things he did when he was young. It's an old sample, but let's have a look. Are you ready? Go.